Hello and welcome to this short video on side slipping in the Foxbat. This is not intended to be an instructional video, simply a demonstration of the capabilities of the aircraft. So before side slipping yourself, be sure to get appropriate training and experience before attempting any of the maneuvers shown in this video. The Foxbat's a great little aeroplane when it comes to short field performance, particularly landing the aircraft. Uh, an experienced and trained pilot can land the aircraft in as little as 75 metres regularly or even less with a little bit of headwind. Um, when using full flap the aircraft comes down quite steeply, uh, maybe six to 700 feet a minute at 45 to 50 knots and full flap, but just occasionally the pilot might want a much steeper approach. For example if there are trees or wires or other obstacles at the end of the landing strip or very rarely on occasions when you're making an emergency approach because you've had an engine out or something like that um, where it's probably a good idea to come in a little bit high and then bleed off the uh, additional height um, as you get close to the strip. It's much easier to get rid of height than to gain it if you've got no engine. So this afternoon we're going to have a look at uh, a couple of different types of approach in the Foxbat. The first one will be a standard approach with flap, which is um, fairly steep, but uh, not as steep as it can be with side slipping, uh, which is the second type of approach we're going to use um, to demonstrate how the aircraft will come down very steeply um, if you side slip the aircraft. A particular point when side slipping is in the Foxbat is to stay in the ideal side slip range with full flap. Something between 45 and 55 knots is um, about as fast as you want to go when it comes to side slipping. Also, if you've got anything like a crosswind, then it's best to point the nose of the aircraft into the wind uh, rather than away from it to give you the, um, the best uh, descent rate that you can in the aircraft. Charlie Tire, Foxbat, Echo Victor, Quebec entering and lining up runway 17 for circuits, traffic tire. Charlie Tire, Foxbat, Echo Victor, Quebec turns final runway 17, touch and go, tire. So note the angle of uh, approach for uh, a short field um, full flap landing. Um, although we've got a descent indicated of around three, four hundred feet a minute, um, the aircraft's coming down nice and gently. The speed's back to 45 knots. Little trickle of power just to keep going along nicely. As I said, quite a shallow angle of approach, with even with full flap and a little bit of engine, but it will give the short field performance that the aircraft that you want to do for a, a short field landing. So a little bit of uh, nose up there just to hold it off, around about 40, 45 knots. Nice and slow, nice and slow, and we'll just touch down here near the keys, put away the flap and stop the aircraft pretty quickly. Uh, as you can see, that's a nice short field landing. Now we should be able to accomplish the same with a, a much steeper approach with some side slips. So that's what we're going to go for now. And so uh, in this uh, short video, we're going to show you a landing with a, a, a side slip at the end, just to show you how, how you can steepen up the angle of approach and uh, come in over trees and wires if you need to. There won't be any trees and wires for safety's sake in the demonstration, but imagine there's a row of trees at the end of the runway and we'll just uh, tip over those and onto the end of the runway. Now, side slipping is something that you uh, really should practice in terms of your landing techniques. Um, I've done it probably half a dozen times this afternoon and it's only the fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth ones that we're really beginning to get it absolutely right. Traffic tire, Fox Bad Echo, Victor Quebec turns base, runway 17, tire. Now as you can see we've just turned base and, and put down full flap on the uh, aircraft and we'll get the speed back to something around 50-55 uh, knots. Uh, with two people in the aircraft, uh, there's only one in here at the moment, then maybe 55 with one person, 50 is absolutely fine. And we'll come down and as you can see we're coming down at the rate of maybe six seven hundred feet a minute um, with just normal flap which is a 
reasonably steep approach. Uh, but as I say, you may need to just uh, get a little bit of extra descent on once you're uh, close to the runway, hopping over trees or whatever. Um, so we're going to turn on to final, uh, deliberately a little bit on the high side to demonstrate the uh, side slip uh, when we get near the runway. Traffic tyre, Fox Bad Echo, Victor, Quebec turns final, runway 17, full stop tyre. We're pretty high on approach here right now. Get the speed right down to around about 40 knots now with just one person in. Um, and uh, we can begin a little bit of a side slip to make sure that we come down a bit steeper. Uh, to make sure we get it just nicely on the end of the runway there. Um, slow 40s, uh, mid 40s are absolutely fine for the aircraft coming down here nicely onto the end of the runway. Just nicely like that. And then as you get near to the ground just... Uh, let the aircraft round out nicely and just drop it onto the runway like that and you get your short field landing as well as your approach. Okay, I hope that was all helpful.